goes clockwise, clockwise and out. Now you see it moving, moving, moving into the low pressure area. And now we're going to go and it actually comes into here to the center of this low. So it goes from the high to the low, all right? The other thing that you might notice in this particular graphic is the arrows that depict the direction of the wind. In your high altitudes, remember we were talking about the isobars? Well, here they are again. Here's another isobar, here's one, here's one, here's one. Now, in the high altitudes, the wind travels parallel to these isobars. But if you notice, as it's crossing these isobars, the reason for that is friction. I think we mentioned friction a little earlier because the force of friction actually changes the direction of the wind, and the wind is actually moved across the isobars at an angle rather than as it operates at the higher altitudes where it is actually parallel to the isobars. Again, we want to mention in terms of highs and lows that the low pressure area, generally speaking, means bad weather. The high pressure area, generally speaking, means that we're going to have good weather. So it is important for us to know where highs and lows are. And by that, we use, for that, we use the bayes ballot law. If, in fact, and this graphic depicts it, if, in fact, you stand with your back to the wind, turn 45 degrees, the low is to your left, and the high is to your right. And as I mentioned to you earlier, if, in fact, this low is west of you, since our weather goes from west to east, then you know that this low pressure area is in fact going to cross where you're located. Now, the only other thing I would mention is that the reason you have to turn 45 degrees is because the surface winds are such that the friction has actually turned the wind and is not going along the isobars, it's actually going across. If you remember earlier, we referred to this particular graphic as we reference the isobars, those equal lines of pressure. And we also spoke about the barbs that represented the cold fronts. And we talked briefly about this, which is the jet stream. These are the high altitude winds that actually meander across our country, carrying our weather from the west coast to the east coast. If we were to look, at a satellite photo, then we would actually see these, this pressure